Neither the Bible nor Quran identifies the Pharaoh of Moses by name. We can use the details provided in the scriptures to try to identify the Pharaoh. Both scriptures speak of the Israelites being taken into slavery before the birth of Moses. The use of Semites for slave labour occurred only during the New Kingdom period. So, we can place Moses somewhere in the New Kingdom period. This gives us a list of 33 possible pharaohs. Both scriptures also speak of an exodus of the Israelites out of Egypt. The Menepta Stele is an important artefact that contains the first explicit reference to Israel in the archaeological record. It is dated to around 1208 BCE. It discusses the land of Canaan and mentions the Israelites in relation to Canaan, indicating that the Exodus had already taken place by this date. The artifact is contemporaneous to the Pharaoh Menepta. This means that the Exodus had to take place before Menepta, since Menepta was alive and in power after the Exodus and not drowned in the sea. This establishes an upper boundary in the timeline of the pharaohs. From the point of view of both the Bible and Quran, we are now left with 18 pharaohs as candidates who may have ruled during the time of Moses. Let's now delve deeper into the biblical narrative. The Bible claims that there were two different pharaohs who were in power. The first died while Moses was in hiding in Midian. When Pharaoh heard of this, he tried to kill Moses, but Moses fled from Pharaoh and went to live in Midian. During that long period, the king of Egypt died. The new Pharaoh continued his predecessor's persecution of the Israelites, and it was his second Pharaoh who was later drowned when Moses crossed the sea. The Bible gives us a timeline for these events. The burning bush encounter with God took place when Moses was 80 years old. So from his birth to the Exodus, there was a span of at least 80 years, during which two pharaohs ruled Egypt. Now, there is a big problem if we compare this biblical narrative to the timeline of the pharaohs. We've seen that the Bible claims exactly two pharaohs ruled during the 80-year period, from the birth of Moses to the Exodus. If we consider the number of years that each of the pharaohs ruled, we can see that there is no 80-year period during which only two pharaohs ruled. Any given 80-year period will give you at least three pharaohs in power. We can see that the biblical narrative contradicts the historical evidence. Let's now compare the Quranic narrative. Unlike the Bible, the Quran depicts a single pharaoh reigning from the birth of Moses all the way up to the Exodus. The Quran informs us that Moses fled to Midian when he reached the age of maturity. The Quran defines the age of maturity as 40 years old. The Quran also informs us that during his time in Midian, Moses spent eight to ten years in the service of his father-in-law before returning to Egypt to face Pharaoh. This means that Moses was at least 48 years of age when the Exodus happened. The only Pharaoh during the New Kingdom period who had such a lengthy reign as an absolute ruler was Ramesses II, who ruled for 66 years. The Quranic account is perfectly in line with the historical evidence and fixes the chronological issues that are present in the biblical narrative. 